Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and this is a WordPress tutorial for my contributors specifically, but I'm sure this information will be useful to other people that are looking to do any of the following. Um, add a responsive SoundCloud player to the blog post, add a Vimeo or YouTube uh, responsive video to a blog post. Um, I'm doing this for my people, but I'm going to leave it on YouTube just in case anyone else needs this type of information. I'm using two plugins and I'm going to leave the links to get those plugins if you're a website administrator and you're looking to do what I'm doing. I'm going to leave the links to those plugins on the blog post so you can get that link down below. But uh, essentially I'm going to be using a plugin called SoundCloud Shortcode and Advanced Responsive Video something or other. I forgot the full name but uh, like I said the links will be down below. But for my contributors let's get started you're gonna sign in as soon as you sign in this is where you're gonna end up and you're gonna come over to post and you're gonna come into add new post and um, I have updated my contributor status to allow you to embed video and upload the feature images um, and the banners so I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video tutorial as well so we're looking at uh, doing a, a couple of things here so this video might be, get a little long but hopefully not so the first thing I'm gonna do is just write test and just to, so it names the post here and then if I'm gonna add a SoundCloud player I'm gonna come into SoundCloud and I'm gonna come into the piece of music or the playlist that I want and I'm gonna come down here to this button which is the share button that's gonna give a uh, window here and I'm going to come over to embed and I'm going to choose the layout that I want for the player they've got three options here uh, the tall player or the box player uh, this kind of shorter player and the uh, just this little player right here depending on the type of article you're writing uh, you know you're gonna choose which one you you want to do but I'm just gonna choose this one for the the sake of this tutorial and I'm gonna make sure to check WordPress code which is going to give me the code I need to put into my post. And I'm going to click inside of here. It's going to highlight everything and control C to copy that. Come back into the post, drop it in here. And there you go. That's done. All right. Uh, you don't have to do anything else. You can hit preview just to make sure. But um, this is going to be a player that's going to be responsive. And what responsive means is that it goes the full width of the container. So uh, my post here is like 600 or something uh, pixels wide but if I resize my browser window the player will resize with it so I think that's um, the best option and uh, so you can see that that's how that works the next thing we're going to do is add a um, YouTube video and I'm going to just come into a YouTube video and it's got my uh, URL up here I'm just going to highlight it all make sure you highlight everything um, put it on a new line and I'm going to come into embed video and I'm just going to click inside this box up here, uh, paste the YouTube URL, not worry about any of this, it's already set up the way I need it, and just hit insert shortcode, and it's going to insert it right here, and if I preview, um, we're going to have a responsive video uh, below our SoundCloud player. All right. So you can see that and now I've got the video here and if I resize the browser the video resizes as well. So that is super cool. That's the way I want it done on my blog. And it's the same uh, same thing for Vimeo. Uh, I copy the, the whole thing there. Go on a new line down here. Add short code. Make, delete the YouTube one obviously and put in the Vimeo. Hit insert short code and if we preview it it will be exactly the same so that's how that's done the next thing you need to do is add two images at least per post um, I've already sent you the templates for my website the feature image you hit select feature image and you're gonna use a 500 by 500 image so I would be using something like this okay 500 by 500 um, Remember to keep it under 100 kilobytes if you can. This is 113, but that's not too much over. Um, I like to try to get them down as low as possible without degrading the image too much. So let's just say this is the uh, image I want for this particular post. I would hit set feature image. But while I'm in here, I also need the banner. And the banner is 1500 wide by 400 tall for my website. 
So you can see right here is an example of that. What I would do is take this URL, copy it, click out of here, and then right here where it says header image, paste that URL for the 15 by 400, and then come back into set feature image, set the 500 by 500 feature image here, and that's pretty much all you want to do. That's for uh, adding the images, but you need at least those two images to do it. Um, I've got a few kind of stock images for the banner if you don't have um, if you don't have a lot of time or you just want to uh, you know use those you have to search through all the images you can do that now uh, and also if you need to add a picture into uh, a blog post say right here you just come into add media you can now upload files as a contributor on my website but let's just say I wanted to add this uh, I want to add this right here, so I'm just going to say insert photo. Sweet. And you can edit the, uh, the caption and everything down here. But uh, another thing too, while you're uploading images to the feature image and the banner image, make sure the image file name is related to the post itself. Um, Google searches the images and Google likes to see the file name uh, in relation to the post. So if I come into this particular image, you can see that my alternative text is just essentially the name of the instrument. Uh, this is the caption below the uh, image. And uh, you can see that the name of the image is really lazy on this one in particular, but it says Iowa Sax, which is what this VST instrument is. But um, really, you should say Iowa Sax contact instrument, free download, you know, whatever, key, key words to to help drive people to uh, the website. You can also do some advanced stuff down here. You don't need to do any of this. Uh, the, the important thing is is the, the file name and the alternative text and the caption if it's inside of the actual post. But if it's uh, the feature image or the uh, banner image, you do not need to add a, uh, a caption, obviously, because no one will see it. So if you hit save, uh, that's what your post would look like. Also, if you want to come in, you can center these by using these line buttons. You can resize it. Uh, you can set it to a custom size if you want. You can do a bunch of things. When you uh, link to, uh, usually you want to link to the media file, which means if, if I've made it small on my blog post and they click on the image, it will get bigger to the actual size. But um, if maybe you want to link, use the image to link to a different post on a different website or something, you would just do that custom URL here and you would change to the uh, wherever you wanted it to link to. So it could be you know, someone else's website or whatever. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, oh, the other thing too, as a contributor on my blog, you want to check your name. Your name will be here once you've um, made that your initial post. I'm going to add your name to the categories over here and let's just say you're Noah. You want to check Noah and you also want to check the other relevant categories for your post. If it's an After Effects tutorial, you'd want to click After Effects tutorial. If there's a free download involved with it, you'd want to hit free download, okay? And definitely make sure your name is checked, all right? So that's pretty much it. That should definitely be enough to get you started contributing to my website. I'm excited to have you guys. Let's see what you can post. Later.